as we say in another place, we apologize for the break in continuity. Uh, when that happened, the Minister of Finance was in his rebuttal. Please proceed, Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, um, we we'll talk about accountability, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, um, direct awards, Mr. Speaker. Supervision services for land stabilization and road rehabilitation at Bagatelle and Forestier. Bagatelle and Forestier. Mr. Speaker, the Bagatelle is part of my constituency. The member from Microsoft had some fond memories up there. <laughs> the last time you went there, you had some fond memories. Bagatelle is part of my constituency. I do not recall, I do not recall where the road rehabilitation was done at Bagatelle. I know that at the top of Bagatelle, there was a, a landslide from 2016. No, after hurricane, the last hurricane between 2021. Right. Thomas. And I know that was repaired. But it cost $389,000 for the supervision works. Supervision. $389,000 for supervision, Mr. Speaker. Huh? No, of course. Ah, of course. Mr. Mr. Successful Supervise. Well said, Member Member Susel. Supervision of works, island wide, drainage systems. Listen, listen to that, that connotation. Supervision of works, island wide. Okay. Drainage systems in Microsoft and Delhi South. So that means they supervise works island wide. But there were drainage systems in Microsoft and then we solve eight hundred thousand dollars. I talk about accountability. accountability because of the law. Supervision services for the construction of the back so community. Mr. Speaker, how much that community center cost? Nine hundred and four thousand dollars supervision services for the Bexon Community Center. Nine hundred and four thousand dollars, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, so that means ten percent. So that means that how much? That, how much it cost? Ten million dollars for a community center. Ten million dollars for a community center. We are going to finish the Bassett Reserve Community Center, Mr. Yeah. Speaker, this year. And we are not going to spend nothing near $10 million, Mr. Speaker. But for the supervision, Mr. Speaker, they, I mean, I, I'm sorry, I said a while ago that we are going, but this thing is really, really, and the, the more you see this, Mr. Speaker, the more it, it really, really hurts you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, listen to that. <clears throat> listen to that. 2.09 million dollars for supervision services for one contractor. I'm not in the business of calling people's names here, I won't call it. $2.09 million for supervision. Land at Baga and road at Bagatelle and Forestier. Now, let's go straight to Forestier. In the same Forestier, Mr. Speaker, you have another direct award, Mr. Speaker, of $2.8 million for the same Forestier road. So you have $2.8 million for the construction for in forest year, Mr. Speaker, and then you have another, another $389 million spent in forest year alone, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, I will end very shortly because sometimes when I see Mr. Speaker, that the officials of the Ministry of Finance and the Treasury have to hustle to find money to pay purpose. They have to hustle to find money to transfer to the public assistance vote, Mr. Speaker. And you, you can pay $2 million for supervision. 
And you cannot find, we cannot find, sometimes we cannot find in the government's coffers $50,000. Mr. Speaker, I want to see that no law, no law can help you when you have a government that operates in that manner, Mr. Speaker. No law can help you, Mr. Speaker. And I join the members that say we have to ensure that these laws are, they, they, they do not cause us to have our hands tied behind our back while if you if you are unscrupulous government you can do a lot of things whilst you have your hands tied behind your back if you want to follow the right procedure mr speaker right. so mr speaker we are going to hopefully we get support for this slight amendment to align the laws to the constitution of st lucia mr speaker and Mr. Speaker, you know, we're supposed to have a debate one day and put on the table one day, Mr. Speaker. And I hope the, the, the <laughs> constituency development program. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I don't want to tell you who signed that one. Because if I tell you who signed that one, you're going to, you're going to find yourself, you're going to get vexed with me. Contract for design joints for the construction of the Roblo and PI community centers and the Marcus Garvey Hall. Uh, no, no, I just want, I want to be a commission for you, you know. I'm building it. No. $648,000, Mr. Speaker. Summary of deliveries. On submission of narrative report, 15% of the fees. That means when you talk the project, 50% of the fees, $97,000. On submission of draft joints, $162,000. On submission of architectural designs, $162,000. BOQs and specifications, $162,000. On DCA approval and final acceptance, $64,000, total $648,500, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> For the Rubro and PI Community Center, Mr. Speaker. And I'm not going to mention who was given the contract. Direct award. Not a contract to build. The contract for design of joints. $648,000. To draw the buildings. Contract for design joints for the construction of the robot and PI commission and the Marcus Garvey Hall. $648,000. At some point. Marcus Hall? Yes, in, in Shrozel. I'm the speaker. We are building a community center in Bois Saint Joseph, Mr. Speaker. And I can assure you there are going to be no fees of that nature because you are going to use a government infrastructure to do it. So it's going to be supervised by the Ministry of Planning and the Ministry of Infrastructure. So we're not going to pay any fees, Mr. Speaker. That's $648,000, Mr. Speaker. And up to now, the member of the enemy for sure says he has no community center. You have a community center? <laughs> Wait for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Six, Six hundred and forty-eight thousand, Mr. Speaker. And I will not tell you who the, who the person is, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, there is more, you know. There is more. And, and I'm saying that, Mr. Speaker, to make you... To, now, the same... Well, the direct award, yes. $648,000. Direct purchase for detailed designs for the Marcus Gabby Hall, Roblo, and PI Community Center. $648,000. And 
direct award. And direct award. So you didn't even give somebody else an opportunity to attend them, Mr. Speaker. Public finance management act in place. Is it a civil talk about transparency and accountability? Exactly. Mr. Speaker, there are more, you know. There's more, Mr. Speaker. Another direct award, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, direct award for award of contract for security services. One point one million dollars. Security services at the St. Jude Hospital. One point one million dollars, Mr. Speaker. Direct award. I have never heard security services ever given by the record. $1.1 million. And there is something that's consistent from the Department of Economic Development, Transport, and Civil Aviation. Consistency. All of them, Mr. Speaker. Victorious Direct Award from the Department of... Whee! Mr. Speaker, undertake infrastructure work at Victoria Hospital, $3.3 million. Direct award under the Disaster Vulnerability Reduction Project, Mr. Speaker. Again, Ministry of Economic Development, I'm not going to mention the contractor name. $3.3 million, Mr. Speaker. I want to ask anybody who is living in St. Lucia, tell me where, when, and how. In May 2020, was $3.3 million worth of work done at the hospital? They paid the bill. For $3 million? I don't know, but they paid the $3.3 million, Mr. Speaker. On May, May the 1st, 2020, Mr. Speaker. $3.3 million. <laughs> And, and another one again, Mr. Speaker. Direct award. I'm not going to mention the boy's name again. One million dollars for the provision of technical assistance to the project management unit. <laughs> technical assistance to the project management unit for configuration, supervision, and transitioning services for St. Jude Hospital Reconstruction Project. Again, Department of Economic Development, Transport, and Civil Aviation. And that's on the 10th of May, 2021. 10th of May. Elections on the 26th of July. 10th of 21, Mr. Speaker. Direct award. $1 million for the provision of technical assistance to the project management unit for configuration, supervision, and transitioning services. So look at look at the dichotomy. dichotomy. In May, you are talking about configuration and transition services right now. In May, but you are no, you you haven't completed the building yet, you know. You are not building to transition to, because in July you've just signed another record, another contract for seventy million dollars. But already in May, you are paying for configuration. To, to, and transitioning services to move across somewhere that the US start yet. <laughs> so, Mr. Speaker, you should, you, so you understand why, Mr. Speaker, there is need to slander and blaspheme us every day on the radio? You see why? Because they, these things must not be told, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, back to. Oy, 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 oy. Okay. Mr. Speaker, contract for supervision of works at St. Jude Hospital reconstruction site, $4.4 million. Say that again. Say that again. <laughs> so, again, Minister Department of Economic Development, Transport and Civil Aviation. May 2021. May 2021, you know.
<laughs> Mr. Speaker, I'm, I'm laughing, not because I'm, I, I think it's a joke, you know, but because if I don't laugh, I'll cry. <laughs> On the basis of recommendation from the poor man's secretary, the Parliament of the Environment Chandra Civil Aviation, dated 10th 2021, and the powers conferred upon me, as Minister Finance, not me, as Minister of Finance, pursuant to Part 3, Section 91C of the Program of Social Education, I hereby grant approval for contract by direct award. I'm not going to mention the name. In the amount of Eastern Caribbean, four million four hundred and seventy-eight thousand six hundred and twenty-five dollars. VAT exclusive for the supervision of works on the St. Jude Hospital reconstruction site. And the contract that you have is for design finance bill. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so if you have a design finance bill contract, you're supposed to be supervised by your Ministry of Infrastructure. Because the contractor has all these designs and everything else, but you have to pay somebody four million dollars for, for, for thing, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, <laughs> listen, listen to the, 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 Mr. Speaker, listen, listen to another one, listen to another one, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> One million dollars as part payment on full designs. Part payment on full designs and contract administration on the construction of the police headquarters and court facility on the uh, proposed bolt arrangement. Listen to that carefully. Not only that, but a bolt arrangement means that the contractor comes in with everything. Build, own, lease, and transfer. One million dollars. Part pay. Part pay. And clearly, part pay, Mr. Speaker. There's more, there's more, there's more again. Listen now again. Again, Mr. Speaker, you know, you have four million dollars left for that one. And then in October, you have four hundred and five thousand dollars. Again, design consulting services for St. Jude Hospital reconstruction site. The same person again. Mr. Speaker, all of them consistent with one ministry. And one minister. Yes. Mr. Speaker, we're still into St. Jude's, you know. Mr. Speaker, you know, this St. Jude hospital thing. Look, 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 look. Request for direct purchase again to St. Jude. 17th May 2021. 25 million. Six hundred eighty-seven thousand eight hundred ninety-three dollars. That's in addition to the same. In addition to the same thing, yeah. That twenty-five was for what? For architectural works. I'm, I'm, that's, can, that's not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not I can make a. Can make a document house this week. I can make. If you want, I can make, I can make a document house this week. But it's just that I'm not in the business of calling people's names inside here. Yeah. 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 25 million six hundred eighty seven thousand eight hundred ninety three dollars for architectural works for the St. Jude Hospital reconstruction project, Mr. Speaker. And there is a document for 70 million dollars for the St. Jude Hospital reconstruction project. And you talk about because we're trying to align a law to the constitution, talk about accountability, and we are breaking the cardinal virtues of the Ten Commandments because we are trying to align, uh, we, we're trying to align a hospital uh, subsidiary law 
to the constitution of St. Lucia, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, in my hands, <laughs> again, St. Jude Hospital again, St. Jude Hospital again, St. Jude again, Mr. Speaker, we have finished yet, you know, St. Jude again, Look, 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 at, uh, I know what I'm you remember the story of the Denry Polyclinic? Remember that? The Denry Polyclinic. Yeah. Remember that? $719,000 professional fees for assessment and redesign of the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing joints for Denry Polyclinic. $719,000. Eleventh of March, twenty twenty. Seven hundred and nine thousand dollars, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, so when we you, you people get accused, <laughs> Mr. Speaker, send you again. St. Jude again, Mr. Speaker, 10 million, 999,985 dollars and 56 cents for the construction of the structural frame of the St. Jude Hospital Reconstruction Project. So you pay separate for the frame. 10 million, 999,985 dollars and 56 cents. St. Jude Hospital, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, Send you to the hospital, and I, you see, I'm not mentioning the names of the people involved. Because I always say to people, if you get, if a businessman is allowed to fool the government, he must go ahead and fool the government. I don't know is that. If a government allows a businessman to fool them, then go ahead and fool him. But the question is whether the government did not allow the businessman to fool him directly indirectly for direct benefits later. That's the question. Send you lost again, Mr. 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 Speaker. Send, send you lost again. December 2020, $776,000 for technical support and design advisory services. <laughs> technical support and design advisory services. 776 thousand dollars <laughs> Mr. Speaker listen to even more of it Mr. Speaker direct award for implementations of projects in the Sufra constituency Now that one is a funny one, eh? <laughs> that one is very funny. What kind of fun? I hereby grant approval for contracts by the record board for implementation of oh yeah, oh I see now. I see the person now. For implementation of projects in the Sphere constituency. Implementation of projects yes. projects in the in the Sphere constituency. One hundred and thirty four thousand two hundred and eight hundred for the supply of materials for construction of Old Trafford Complex. Listen to me. The first line says, for the implementation of projects, but lower long line it says, for construction of materials for construction of Old Trafford Complex, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, that was February 2020. During COVID. Now, Mr. Speaker, Look at, listen to the one that this government is going to continue. But you know, faith is a wicked thing, Mr. Speaker. We came here and we debated, a, uh, uh, we debated a loan from the Caribbean Development Bank for the replacement of the LED lights. That loan was cancelled. They cancelled it. The CDB up to today. I was speaking with CDB, and they, they are regretting 
that we cancel that loan and they are inviting us to start over again. But it's too late now and we will not do like them. 12 million, 324,000 to install and operate energy saving LED lights island wide. But you know what we were told? We were be told that that was a project that was financed by, by the developer. That's what we were told. We were told that that was financed by the developer. And we continue the investor. The Ministry of Economic it continued. But we have now a direct award for $12,224. For the same development, that one is, 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 is a lot more serious than that, than, than, than I thought, Mr. Speaker. Because there's a direct award for $12 million to install and operate energy saving lights again, the same ministry, the Department of Economic Development. $12 million. But we were told in this honorable house by, the, by the, the, the gentleman who was sitting there, he was boasting how he caught um, a firm to put the lights and they would pay back, we wouldn't spend a cent. That I record of this video. Twelve million two hundred twenty-four thousand U.S. dollars, Mr. Speaker. U.S. and we were told that that project cost nine million dollars, Mr. Speaker. That one, that one, Mr. Speaker, will have to be further looked into, Mr. Speaker. I'm not in the business of threats. Never made a threat in my life. But that one is is a little more serious. That's a little more serious. So. I'll make down the document of the house. Think I should? Not yet. Mm. Mr. Speaker, look. <laughs> you see, a while ago, Mr. Speaker, we were talking about police headquarters. Right? And we paid a million dollars. Another one, Mr. Speaker. $70,000 for the supervision and site preparation works of the police headquarters and court facility. How what? I must ask you. I wasn't government, huh? Oh, yeah. How I can do that? But this is me. I am making up your chief. I don't know. I wasn't in 2020. I don't know. I don't know. So, so, so they, they were just written. So that's a baby show. You just write them to put it away. That, that's how you run a government. And that's, that's your accountability. So you're going to write things that you have to pay. Just write it and give it away. Come on. You know better than that. You are bank man. You lend me money already. What's in terms of that? Members, if you're going to have that discussion, that's better in the lunch. Yeah. <laughs> now, Mr. Speaker, listen, the next day, December 24, 2020, $70,000 for site preparation works of the police and court facility. And listen to another one that supersedes the one of 24th of December. $850,000 for site preparation works of the police and court and court facility. Who? He said, he said, he said, that one, Mr. Speaker, is calling to heaven for vengeance. But we're going to pay. We're going to pay at one, Mr. Speaker. As soon as we get the money, we'll pay at one, Mr. Speaker. $800,000 for the provision of energy saving LED lights, photo cells, and arms. $800,000, Mr. Speaker. That, that's a seven question, comment. Sorry. Sorry, Mr. Speaker. Hey, you have $12 million. Right? And now you have another $800,000 $800, for the same lights. And whereas you had a contract signed with the Caribbean Development Bank from 2016, May 2016, the whole of cashews would have had LED lights, Mr. Speaker. The whole of the country, thank you. And you cancel it. Mr. Speaker, but that one for $12 million, that one is, is one that is very, very strange, Mr. I can even hand it to the Attorney General now. 
Then Mississippi will be into the Fortuna Picks. And Mississippi, there, there, there is more, you know. That is just a tip of the way. The only reason why I brought these for the... I brought... Ooh, 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 ooh. Now, ooh, ooh. A while ago, we had $3 million for Victoria Hospital. We had $3 million. Now, listen to what we have there. Listen to what we have there now. Two million five hundred and forty four thousand eight hundred and seventy dollars to undertake additional infrastructure works for the establishment of a dedicated respiratory facility at Victoria Hospital. So that means the, the six million dollars are spent at Victoria Hospital. Mr. Speaker, I'm building the let me tell you, and there, there are some fancy names, Mr. Speaker. Forestier, $2.8 million for the construction of the Forestier Human Resource Development Center. So, Mr. Speaker, I'm bringing these things to your attention just to show you, Mr. Speaker, that no matter what laws we have, if your ethos of government is not correct, you'll find ways to go around these laws. And that is why I'm bringing this thing to attention, Mr. Speaker. That you can quote from best practice all over the world, Mr. Speaker. But if in your practice of governance, you have to make you? Yeah. If in the practice of government, governance, Mr. Speaker, you do not do it correctly, no law will save you. So, Mr. Speaker, I, I gave these examples to show you that laws on books do not help good governance, Mr. Speaker. And if there was good governance, these things would never have existed. And that is only the tip of the iceberg, Mr. Speaker. So you see a reason why we're not allowed to speak. A reason why they want to cloud us out. There's a reason why you have all these rumors of fighting and internal strife just to keep the lid on the truth, Mr. Speaker. But, Mr. Speaker, but, Mr. Speaker, I am not a man of threats. I'm a very simple guy. I'm not the business of threatening anybody. I don't believe in victimization. I don't believe in vindictiveness. I don't believe in making people cry. I don't believe in using my position to make other people suffer. That's not, that's not what I am about, Mr. Speaker. What I can tell you is the taxpayers of this country will have to, be, to get an account for the, their money which was wasted Anybody who wastes, who put to waste the money of the taxpayers of this country, the hard-working men and women, the poor people who cannot get their $250 a month because they don't have money, the children of the, the disabled children who some months have to stay without the $250 because we don't have any money to give them, Mr. Speaker. That, Mr. Speaker, that's what hurts my heart. And when I see that waste and squander mania happening, Mr. Speaker, for the benefit of the few, I think it's wrong. My, my conscience does not allow me to support that kind of behavior, Mr. Speaker. And we will try our best to eradicate it, Mr. Speaker. I thank you. Members, the question is that the Public Finance Management Amendment Bill be read a second time. I now put the question, as many as of that opinion say aye, aye. as many as of the contrary opinion say no, I think the ayes have it, the ayes have it. An act to amend the Public Finance Ma Management Act number 14 of 2020. Clause 2. Interpretation. Clause 2 stands part of the bill. Clause 3. Amendment of section 32. Yeah. The speaker, um, um, clause 3, A1. The minister shall cause to be prepared and laid before the House of Assembly 
before the word before or not later okay so you before or not later so we are adding the word before, before or, or not later and we are changing no to not right okay so it shall read before the minister or not later yeah the minister shall cause to be prepared and laid before the house of assembly before or not later than 30 days clause 3 as amended stands part of the bill clause 4 substitution of section 40 Clause 4 stands part of the bill. Um, Mr. Attorney General, if we can just go back to. Let's go back to. Mr. Attorney General, just go back to clause 3. Estimates of the revenue and its. What, what which section? Just as estimates, Mr. Speaker. 3 1. Uh huh. It has it's, it's an estimates, but the Constitution says estimates of revenue and expenditure. So, in the consistent, can you put it? So, you want to have estimates, estimates of, revenue. of revenue and expenditure. Okay. And the same would and, go and, for... And continue, Mr. Speaker, of St. Lucia for the financial year. Estimates of revenue for St. Lucia? Uh, estimates of the revenue and expenditure of St. Lucia for the financial year. Okay. Of St. Lucia, of St. Lucia for that financial year. That's the exact reading of the Constitution. Okay. And would that also apply to subsection 3, the same amendments? Which one? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so the same amendment about before or not later. Yeah. An estimate of the revenue and expenditure. Okay, so same amendments. Okay. And Mr. Attorney General, subsection 6, 1, 2, 3, line 4, from the beginning of the financial year. Or the, or the coming into the word the is missing after all line four subsection six one two three four for the beginning of the financial year or coming into should not be or the coming into yeah or the coming yeah, yeah. okay so clause four stands part of the bill right clause five Aye. Amendments of the Principal Act. Clause 5 stands part of the bill. Aye. Clause 1. Short title. Clause 1 stands part of the bill. Aye. Members, the question is that the committee rises and the bill be reported. And I'll put the question as many as of that opinion say aye. Aye. As many as of a contrary opinion say no. I think the ayes have it. The ayes have it. I beg to report that the Public Finance Management Amendment Bill went through committee stage with amendments to Clause 3. Minister of Finance? I move that the report of the committee be adopted and the bill be read a third time and passed. Members, the question is that the report of the committee be adopted and that the Public Finance Management Amendment Bill be read a third time and passed. I now put the question, as many as of that opinion say aye, Aye. As many as of a contrary opinion say no. I think the eyes have it. The eyes have it. Be it enacted by the Queen's Most Excellent Majesty, by and with the advice and consent of the House of Assembly and the Senate of St. Lucia, and by the authority of the same, as follows. This act may be cited as the Public Finance Management Amendment Act 2022. Minister of Finance. Deputy Prime Minister. Yes. Mr. Speaker, I beg that this house be suspended for half an hour until 7.30. The question is that this house be suspended until 7.30 p.m. 
Now for the question, as many of that opinion, say aye. aye. As many as of a contrary opinion, say no. I think the ayes have it. The ayes have it. Meeting suspended until 7.30. Say good evening to all our viewers and to just update you in today's sitting of the lower house of the central parliament that the house has been suspended for half an hour we expect it to be back at about 7 30 as we just had the completion of the debate on the first bill held on in today's sitting and that was presented by the honorable prime minister and minister for finance economic development and the youth economy and that's on the public finance management amendment which you just saw uh, having its first reading going to committee stage and also read a third time we let you know that um, still on the order paper for today's meeting it's the international business companies amendment up for second reading also the insurance amendment for first reading Financial Services Regulatory Authority first reading and the Land and House Tax Amendment for first reading and also down the order paper by the Honorable Minister for Commerce, Manufacturing, Business Development, Cooperatives and Consumer Affairs and that will be the Distribution and Price of Goods Amendment up for second reading. We can also let you know that uh, during the session here this evening that we had a brief power outage just after 6 p.m. at about 6.05 being that brought a delay to proceedings as the Prime Minister was closing debate on the bill that we just mentioned. So we'll be taking a break here from the House of Assembly and we'll be back as soon as we can bring you further debate today as we go through the order paper today, Tuesday, February 1st, 2022.